Look at this visual. It's gray, but it's space gray. Yeah. Apple gave us a cable. That's amazing. It's always my ritual to fill in an unboxing video whenever I buy new Apple products. And this time, I bought the all-new MacBook Air with the M1 chip in it. My previous MacBook was a 2014 MacBook Air. This was second to the cheapest model. It had 256 gigs of storage instead of 128, which was back then was the basic. And to tell you a brief story of why I finally ended up buying the M1 MacBook, I knew that it was out in the market since November of last year. But then I tried to use my old MacBook as much as possible. But then the Zoom virtual background didn't work in this. And I had to spend the whole entire semester without a Zoom background. And since all those apps that I have to use are getting, are requiring more processor power, my MacBook just couldn't handle it. So yeah, for second semester, I thought I might as well get that M1 MacBook. So here it is. I really like the sound when the box opens. And I'm just amazed by how Apple makes this experience whole unified and elegant. So here it goes. Oh. It opens like this, you push it, and then it comes out. Yeah, I got the space gray model, here it is, and this is the most basic model out there, then I thought it would work since I saw a lot of comments that this just runs everything. It only has 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage with an M1 processor. And it really runs everything that could be operated even on MacBook Pro 16 inch. Anyways, that's why I bought this. And I'm starting to love this already. Yeah, you need to love your Apple products, right? To have your stocks, stock price, or whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, here's another wrapping part. Here it goes. <sighs> we love this. You know, this experience that Apple gives us is just really amazing. Okay, the highlight. Gosh. Come on. Get out. I want to see you. All right. Look at this visual. It's gray, but it's space gray. You know, Samsung, LG, those kind of companies, Lenovo, they offer many laptops on similar price level, but then they just don't give this kind of experience. Even this is a not even a thousand dollar laptop, and it feels like a $2,000 laptop and this unified experience that Apple gives to the, con to the consumers I think that's like the main reason for their success anyway I'm, I'm talking too much I'm just so excited today wow this density is amazing I don't know let's compare it with the four the 2014 model. I'm holding it my one hand. Okay, unfortunately, M1 is heavier. But, when I hold it like this way, okay. 
Seems light. About this. Okay. M1 is heavier. <laughs> this is rather unexpected, but I'll get through it. Anyways, inside the box, there's the M1 MacBook Air. Apple gave us a cable. That's amazing. This is a USB C to C cable, as you can see. Right? Yeah. Designed by Apple in California. This is another great thing about Apple. I love California. And they and they say it's designed by Apple in California. I'm just saying some random stuff. MacBook Air. I bought this in Korea, so this is in Korean. <gasps> I got a space gray sticker. I only have white stickers. What else? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then I have the charging charger. Okay, it, this is actually smaller than one in the 2014 model. Let's see. Let's compare it with the 2014 model. Okay, this is the cable for 2014 model. And you can already see how the size got smaller. And this is lighter too. This was really heavy when bringing it out. So there it is. Okay, nothing else in the box. I'll organize the stickers and warranty information again. The simplicity that Apple gives on their devices is noteworthy. Anyways, I hope this is charged. Okay, let's do the final part of the unboxing. Oh. Wait, it seems lighter after I unpackaged it? I don't know. Wow. Look at this design. I'm just gonna see whether there are any dents or any factory problems. Okay, there seems none, so I'm gonna open it. Hmm. I kind of want to compare it with the 2014 MacBook Air, so I'll just bring it here. First to compare the size. It's the same 13 inch, but it has this much size difference. Ah, uh, here, and if we put it together, maybe this much. All right, it got smaller since it has smaller bezels. Let's open the screen now. Here it goes. Oh, yes. It turns on automatically. This shit takes a long time. I need to uncover this. Oh, no. oh my god. This is a piece of marble. Okay, this thing's not turning on. I don't know why. Come on. Okay, I guess I bought the M1 Air on a right time. Since my old air is not working. Okay, I'm gonna charge this and then bring it back. Anyways, let's see the air. The new air. Okay, enter MacBook Air. I'm gonna set it up in English. The main language. Press the return key. Wow. I like the 
sensitivity here. I think it's better than the previous MacBook Air. <clears throat> and the keyboard itself, wait. Oh shit, I need to do this as Korea. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do migration since I'm gonna start fresh. I think there are some files that are cluttering in my previous MacBook Air. So yeah, I'm gonna start fresh. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Right, finally, I'm back on my Mac and here's the start screen. The home screen, I should say. And the display just looks so different from my old Mac. It's just amazing. It's a new world. Um, what should I say about my old Mac? It had, it didn't even have a full HD display as far as I remember. And the screen just looked dark. But then this is just so bright. Even on the medium level, it looks amazing. It's just, it's just truly amazing. Um, oh yes, M1. M1, guys, M1. Yeah, this one has a QHD, I should say. And let's see support, service. Check your coverage. Anyways, so. Alright, anyways, this was the unboxing of M1 MacBook Air. If I get to run that old 2014 MacBook Air up, up and running again, I will try to make a comparison video. Thank you.